Hey guys, it's Thrill again, and in this video I want to show you some of the most effective and useful two-man tower positions on DE Dust 2. I've been inspired by some professional teams participating in the ESO 1 in Cologne this year that played a bunch of these boost spots that I'm about to show you right now. In very important key rounds you can often see the pros pull out an ace out their sleeves by playing certain positions that the enemies don't expect them to be at. The best thing about these plays is that you don't even need to be a pro to make them work. Everyone can perform these two-man tower plays that only require a teammate to boost you. In this video I want to show you some of what I think are the most effective and useful two-man tower positions that will often allow you to get an easy first kill of a round. Let's start off with a boost for the counter terrorist side. For this one you want to boost two people up on catwalk and make a tower just behind the rounded wall right here at the bottom of the steps. With this boost you will be able to peek into lower dark and you can get an easy opening pick with an old war auto sniper from up here. The second boost is great for defending bombsite A when the terrorists are rushing A long and your teammate at long already died. You can make a tower behind the CT wall right here and the guy on top can peek over the small ledge in front of him to get some easy kills. You could even combine this play with a smoke in front of you to help cover up your player model a bit. Next up we have a tower spot that you can play when you are expecting an eco rush onto bombsite B. You can boost behind the B wall right here which will allow you to spot the B entrance from above the wall like this. The terrorists will not expect you to be at such a weird location up there and you should be able to get some nice and easy kills with this. My favorite boost out of all of them is this boost for the terrorist side though. When your team or the counter terrorists at mid smoked off the mid doors, you can boost on the small catwalk wall right here to peek over the double doors in mid. You might get lucky and find the head of the enemy's orb right here immediately, but I think this spot is also very useful to catch rotators off guard. The next tower spot that I'm about to show should become a knowledge already, but it has to be included in this video of course. Another spot to hold a long from is this two-man tower in the car corner right here. This spot is also most effective when played with an AWP or auto sniper. Now sometimes it might be worth trying to change the momentum of a game by getting a quick opening pick in mid. For that you can try to smoke off the mid area like this and boost behind the Xbox in mid. I would advise you to fall back after your first shot though because it's very risky to stay on your teammate's head exposed like that. A plus for this boost is also that the smoke you throw on mid could also be used to rush into lower dark. So you basically leave your opponents guessing and you'll have a good chance to get the first kill with this simple boost. The last boost that I'm showing you today is one that the ninjas in pyjamas play a lot in their eco rounds. When the mid doors are smoked like that, you can make a tower right here which will allow you to peek over the smoke. If you position yourself correctly, you can easily hold off short and you can also see enemies jumping on the Xbox in mid. So that's all for this video again. Can you think of some more useful boost spots like this for DE Dust 2? Let me know by leaving a comment below and tell me if you want to see more videos like this for other maps as well. Best of luck to you with these boost spots. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Hinschein, hinschein, hinschein. Perfekt gespielt, geil. Demo kommt. Und er schreibt wow. Wow, schreibt. <lacht> Lang.